Hello and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment Pencil Edition. Let's get into it, shall we? That's the one. Today, looking at a, another yellow pencil here. And down here you could see the Hernadex 4200 NHB. Let's get out our packaging as we have that today. There you go. Not too bad. Hmm. Superb graphite pencils. Looking forward to see how that holds up. Uh, Hong Kong's top brand. So I did get these while on a trip abroad. Had to pick up a box, you know, find something new. Here's a little info on the back. And there you go does come with a sharpener. Now let's get out our notebook and get into the review. So this is the Hernadex 4200 NHB. I apologize for any mispronunciations. That's just how it looks to me. <laughs> um, so getting into it, the lead is HB and is a fully bonded lead, as they say on the packaging. I'm going to get a closer look there. The uh, wood is a high quality wood not from rainforests. So again, I don't put anything unless I can kind of confirm it there. Oops. And you can kind of get a look for yourselves. Assuming it would be a cedar of some sort. Uh, the body is a softer hexagon uh, shape with yellow paint and black rainbow foil stamped letters. And I'll see if I can get that to show up on camera. You can kind of get a little bit of it there. Pretty cool effect. And then it does have a black uh, ferrule and a pink eraser. All right, so I paid 19 Hong Kong dollars for these and they originate out of China. For the erase test, I just drew a thick line with the lead and erased half of it. And you can see how it performed there. For the smudge test, I just write the word test and smudge it with my finger. And then for the shader test, I just try and make a gradient with the lead. Again, your results may vary. These are my results for this particular test. So some of the pros that I really enjoyed about this pencil is that it does come with a sharpener. It's always nice to have a little bonus like that, uh, like Nataraj does. Um, I do like the darker medium tones. Uh, always nice to have a, a pencil that kind of holds its weight there. And it did okay on the smudge test for its darkness, so that's nice to see as well. And the erase test also did pretty well for its darkness. Um, it is well constructed, so the ferrule is well attached. No crazy you know, paint chips flying out here. The eraser is well attached. It looks like it's crimped on there very well. Uh, it even has that 1 to 2 ratio, which is seems like it'll hold up really nice. Uh, the paint used is pretty cool, that rainbow paint. And then again, the paint being applied here and the centering of the lead all pretty well pretty well done for the price uh, <laughs> leads me to the next point there good segue Mike uh, the price was pretty awesome for these uh, again also including a sharpener and point retention for the darkness was also pretty good so it's nice to see a darker pencil still be able to retain its point through use um, some of the cons again obviously being that I live in the States availability is a little bit harder to come by these I'd never heard of them until uh, my trip and that's why I picked up a box and wanted to share it with you all and then could be a little bit smoother so even though it is a darker lead uh, still has a little bit of scratchiness to it when writing um, but not a deal breaker for something of this price so let's get out our big book and see how it compares all right and this All right, give you a look there. Not quite as dark as some of the recent HBs we've tested, but still on the darker side, I would say. And a larger look at the book there. Let's set this aside. And this has been a quick review of the Hernandex 4200 in HB. I appreciate you all watching. I would also appreciate it if you like, shared, and subscribe down below. That would really mean a lot, and we can grow the channel together. And until we meet again, take it easy.